Okay, it's been um, it's been a while. It's been a while since I've done a video uh, of this nature, and I know it was requested before. And it's just finding the, the right opportunity to do it. Simply because when I do one of these food haul videos, I'm not just buying staple things. Nothing that's too exciting or interesting. It's a typical. It's the fruits, it's the veggies, it's the pastas, it's the rices. Nothing that's going to necessarily uh, transform your life or give you anything of, uh, of real interest to grasp onto. Uh, whereas today, I've uh, gone to my local shop, it's Sainsbury's, and I have looked specifically at their own brand range, which is called Love Your Veg. And what I've got here are loads of ready meals. They're all reduced down to two pound as a kind of a promo at the moment. So. First and foremost, I'm not saying these are the most healthy options. I'm also uh, not saying that this is uh, what I thrive off of and eat all the time. But when I think about those quick meals, when I think about maybe people who might be transitioning, there's a lot of popular favorites here that would have been uh, meat-based versions originally, uh, which have now been made into vegan options. Equally, I'm returning to work next week and at lunchtime, it's good for me to be able to grab some food that is just simple to pop in the microwave and just get cooking and eat. It also opens up conversation with colleagues because if it smells great, if it looks great, they start to ask questions. Typically at work, I might just have some pasta, I might just have some a wrap or a sandwich I've either got from the local shop or maybe prepared the night before, but I'm not so good at preparing things in advance. Right now I've got some couscous and things in the fridge. When I've got a little bit of time off, I tend to eat a lot better. And uh, yeah, so some of these things I'll be taking to work next week um, to have uh, more or less kind of on the go. And other options are there for me to just start to think about how I could possibly create my own versions of them. Whether they'd be cheaper than two pound, probably not when I buy all the ingredients separately, uh, but no doubt they'd have a slightly healthier element to them. So without further ado, I'm gonna talk you through now some of the options that I've got here. Um, like I say, it doesn't include the basics, the fruits, the veggies, um, and all the good stuff, the leafy greens, and all the things that you'd expect um, to have alongside these dishes. So here we go. Okay, let's just get out of the way some of the uh, options as well that are not uh, from the Love Your Veg range. Tofu, who are absolutely awesome at doing what they do, which is tofu. You can get the block, which I just grabbed from the fridge here, actually. You can get this, the block here, um, but for people that find that um, a little bit difficult to get on with, uh, or maybe just find it a bit boring, uh, which, by the way, if you want to liven up, you need to be using herbs and you need to be using spices. Here is an option here. It's a Southern Fried Bites, so it's just this, cubed and coated. Another uh, yeah, great, Great option from Tofu. Next one, you've got Vivera. I love this brand. They were one of the first brands that I was able to get a hold of that did a, a decent steak alternative. I don't have these uh, very often at all, but when I see them and they're reduced, I like to have it. This with some potatoes and some uh, veggies or some salad, really, really nice. And again, for people transitioning, I have um, given these or cook these for people who are non-vegans and you know it, it satisfies them perfectly another thing to add is I didn't get the whole of the range on offer from Love Your Veg simply because of the sell by date or use by date I don't have enough room in the fridge some of them can be uh, frozen uh, but again I don't have the facility to to stock up on all this food and uh, you know i didn't want to find myself getting towards the end and missing out on the uh, on the chance to enjoy some of them so it's, it's to do with how much space i've got not necessarily um this full range available here okay uh just before we get into them sorry i forgot what other things i got squeaky bean never heard of them before but this are uh sauté kievs um yeah no peanut sauté don't know what that's all about actually uh, no idea but it's 100% vegan who knows who knows what that's going to be like uh, I'll just show you outside any ideas anyone tried that don't know they cheap that was a pound for that probably should have got more because it might be amazing uh, okay we're starting to get into the Sainsbury's own brand here I'm just pulling out the bag one at a time so it might not be quite in order these are really cool at the moment I had one last night which was a Thai green curry it's not a necessarily a soup bowl because what you've got in there is actually a little bit more a little bit more going on with it the Thai green curry had some beans in it it was great it was more of a stew than a, than a soup 
but that's really good these are one pound 20 at the moment that with a bread roll if you like a nice buttery bread roll get some vegan butter Kirsty's. Kirsty's now most of their range are vegetarian they seem to have sharpened up a little bit this is vegan everything's a bit confusing about this and you'll see later on I've got a an own brand version of a lentil cottage pie. This has got a use by date of 12th of December, so I'm not entirely sure what they're putting in this for it to be lasting a month and a half, but, you know, there we go. Unless that's a typo. Right, love your veg, here we go. Uh, first one out of the bag, sticky miso aubergine noodles. So, I'm not a massive fan of aubergine actually, but I looked at this and I thought to myself, not only does it look pretty cool, on top of that, it's given me an idea. Okay, how could I manage aubergines? How could I enjoy them more? Well, if I get myself, I suppose, like a teriyaki sauce, get some aubergine, cook it up, noodles and some peppers, and looks like kale in there, I'm ready to go. So, sticky miso aubergine noodles. Uh, what's next here? There we go, chunky vegetable pilot. You look at the bottom here, um, green is, is obviously within the, the range that is better for you. Orange, we're starting to get, whoop, and red is, is the not so good area. It depends what the content of the packaging, so content of the, uh, the food is uh, inside the packaging because of course, if you've got a really fatty food, there could be some like avocado, it's gonna be in the red, not necessarily for the bad reasons though. Anyway, chunky vegetable pilot does what it says in the tin there. Yep, yeah, looks all right. Next one, what do we got? Oh, back to Vivera again. Plant-based mints, absolutely awesome. Cook this up, bolognese, ready to roll. Whoops. What have we got here? Kirsty, another one from Kirsty. It is the butternut squash curry. I've actually had this one before. It's very nice. Rice, a little bit dry, so you need to make sure you add a little um, tablespoon or two of water with it just to stop it from drying out when you're cooking it. I did buy some black beans today, they're not ready meals though. Okay, next one, love your veg. Vegetable Thai green curry jasmine rice. Just, it's a staple. Uh, really nice, really tasty. I have tried some of these before by the way, they're not all of them because they've, they've improved their range, they've increased their range. And I think it's just to be competitive now because a lot of supermarkets are bringing out their own brand stuff and they are having a wealth of sh things on the shelves just completely stacked full of goodies. So it's now Sainsbury's, they're doing the response. And yeah, love your, your veg range. It used to be quite small. It used to be mainly vegetarian. It's now moved to incorporate so much more uh, for the vegans out there. Or people who are not vegan but actually just want a healthier, better choice. Chili bean, non con carne. Yeah, you know, it's basic, basic stuff. And again, you know, a lot of stuff in the green here, so not all that bad. This one here is new to me, butternut squash and lentil lasagna. I saw this and I thought to myself, do you know what, that's a really good dish for me to try and make. And yeah, it would appear relatively basic to do, but I wanna see what this is like. I wanna see what's included here. Uh, they've obviously just got, I'm just checking the back, so it's butternut squash um, within it, chunky within it. They've also got some butternut squash um, sheets, which you can actually buy separately. A lot of the products that you see from the Love Your Veg range are actually just combinations of all the food that they have available anyway. So they just put them together in, in one package and reselling it, which is simple branding, you know, which makes perfect sense really. So they're ready to go. This one here, smoky bean burrito bowl. This one just, oof, Looked awesome, never seen it before, ready to go. I love a burrito. Oh, how simple is a burrito? There's burrito bowl there. Oh, it's falling apart a little bit, but I'm guessing that's just ready to roll. Straight out the packet, what do you have to do with it? Oven cook it, yeah, that's great. And then the last one, like I say, there's, there was probably another five or six options that I left there, um, simply because of what I mentioned before used by date. I think most used by date was around about the 5th or 6th of November. So that's in about a week's time. This one, I was eating this, I would say after every long run in, in the lead up to my Brighton Marathon back in, uh, back in April. So throughout the month of March, I was having one of these after every long run. I felt it was really, really hearty and just really uh, filled me up. And um, in the lead up to races, lead up to the half, marathons I was doing and in the marathon itself I was actually eating this 
And then something happened where after marathon, I could not find this anywhere. I went to a number of Sainsbury's, it just disappeared off the shelves, and I'm so pleased to say it has returned. It's actually one of the cheapest um, products in the range. So it's always two pound, and when it gets reduced, it gets reduced down. Some of these other ones I've just shown you are normally 275 or three pound, they've been reduced down to two pound. This is a lentil um, cottage pie uh, with sweet potato mash. It is glorious. I cannot tell you how incredible this product is. And it's one that I just keep returning to, or was returning to, uh, and now I know that it is back on the shelves. Granted, I have gone to different Sainsbury's there, a larger Sainsbury's. Oh, it, I, I actually had three in the basket, and I put them two back because I just thought I'm not gonna be able to get through these, but I could easily eat one of these every single day. And again, just gives you a nice idea. Lentil, cottage pie, you can make this at home. Sweet potato mash. Awesome. So, what, what did I spend today? I bought some of the bits as well. That's about, oh, I forgot that. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You got about 12, 14. Yeah, so two pounds ago, you can see it starts to add up, but if you're a family, some quick options there. If you want something for work, quick options. If you want something after a long run uh, or a challenging run, options there. I just thought I'd throw this video together just to give you an idea of what is available. If you've got a Sainsbury's near you, check it out. If you'd like to shop online, also check it out. It might be worth ordering a couple. 